Well, today I'm at the John Chafee Nature Preserve in Saunderstown, otherwise known as Wickford, Rhode Island. We're going to be taking the Rome Point Trail, which is in uh, the preserve. It's supposed to run 2.7 miles over to the beach oceanfront. So far on the trail, it's a pretty easy walk. It is a dirt trail, about as wide as an old fire road. Really nothing much to see, probably about halfway through, but I do believe I saw something. I do believe that that looks like bear poop. It's got some fur in there, got some nuts, got some berries. That definitely looks like bear scat. I am not too afraid of seeing bears right now in the daytime on this trail. And the reason being is there's been several other people walking and uh, mountain biking through here. Plus also I've seen a woman with her kids. So I don't think there's any bears around today that I got to worry about. But oh, I did hear something crash in the woods. Sounded more like a, a tree falling into the swamp than um, anything like walking or something like that. But, all right, looks like I'm probably not gonna see anything until I get Oceanside. So we're getting into a little pine area right now. Looks like there's other trails to explore through here. Probably something I would definitely have to take the uh, mountain bike to explore this uh, area a little bit further. And I don't know if you can see it, but that opening at the end of the trail down there is the ocean front, or actually the bay. Alrighty, we are at the beach front. Looks like this is a popular oyster fishing area. And I do see some boats that look like they're doing just that. It's a nice secluded little spot. And off in the distance there you can see one of the boats working the um, oyster beds. So it does look like I am here at low tide. Um, as you can see by the line behind me, you can see where the seaweed kind of goes up to for high tide. And then you got the whole beach area that's in low tide right now. I'm going to walk the beach just a little bit, see if I can see any interesting shells or anything that might have washed up. I'm hoping not to get any rain because, well, you know how this summer has been. Well, this looks like a popular area to come hang out. Get a fire going, fish, whatnot. The only problem with this is I wish people would not leave their trash. 
It looks like it's been there a while though. Although it could be just the salt air. Not sure what they were doing with this roofing tin, but I mean, this could be a nice little area to uh, stealth camp. You know, with the uh, pine forest behind you, but yeah, I just don't like when people leave trash like this. Ah, nice cool day. Mosquitoes are not that bad. Just enjoying the scenery behind me. Here's evidence of another fire pit. I'm going to have to ask some people that are in the know because I wonder if you can actually camp right here on the beach. Because this would be like a great end of summer thing to do. Although, with it being cloudy right now, I can't tell what direction sunrise would be, but by the looks of the map, I think sunrise is probably off in that direction. So, it looks like that'd be an awesome sunrise to wake up to. I'm going to have to ask. I'm going to have to ask, really, what anybody knows about camping out here. So the cool thing is the upper part of the beach, it's actually all lined with seashells. The entire upper part of the beach is all seashells. And then you can see down below the high tide watermark is all kind of rocks and pebbles. like where that boat is working and the other one was working that there is some sort of man-made looks like floating reef set up for trapping a nice shot of the bridge in the background So there's another trail over here and it looks like it actually goes out to another part of a water area. Um, let's go check it out. Kind of liking this. Definitely got to ask about camping out here. And I got a little access point right here, which I think I'm going to take this. So the one thing you got to watch for when walking down along the rocked portion where high tide usually comes up, these black rocks are like a skating rink. They're extremely slippery. So 
So we are back at the car. I hope you enjoyed that little video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.